Let's dig deeper now with Democratic strategist Paul Begala. He's a CNN political contributor and Obama supporter. Also CNN political contributor, McCain supporter and GOP consultant to Alex Castellanos and CNN senior political analyst David Gergen. David, so there are some new reports that point to rising despair in the McCain campaign. Politico tonight reporting that uh, some of McCain's own advisors are engaged in what they call blame casting and some top congressional aides slamming him for what they said was, was an unfocused message. Well, Anderson, coming to Washington today, I found that Democratic and Republican insiders <clears throat> universally believe that this campaign is slipping away from John McCain, that he only has three or four days to turn the momentum around in his favor, and that unless he does so, there's a growing prospect that Senator Obama and the Democrats will rack up a huge victory, uh, possibly on November 4th. So that naturally in that kind of environment uh, invites uh, people to start getting, the knives start coming out uh, and people, uh, you know, making their preliminary assessments and blame pointing the other way. I, I don't think the candidate is in any mood to do that. He's in no mood to give up. He's a fighter and he has a history of closing strong. Uh, but uh, it's, there has never been uh, as much peace uh, and tranquility and harmony within the uh, McCain camp. It has a history of uh, uh, going back over uh, several campaigns of folks, uh, uh, a fair, fair amount of uh, personal dislike, uh, even though they believe very strongly in the candidate. Hmm. Paul, in an interview with Washington Times, McCain blasted President Bush, saying his administration, I quote, let things get completely out of hand and went on to list a handful of policies he would have handled differently. It's interesting because you and James Carville predicted earlier this week, I think on Huffington Post, that, that the finger pointing was about to begin. And well, go ahead. I'm saying, and it has, and I, I couldn't be happier. Uh, <laughs> first that off, doesn't surprise me. Well, no, let me set my partisan hat off uh, for a second. The truth is the only way, let's presume that McCain loses, which I think looks reasonably likely. The only way to revivify a party is to, to you know, figure out what went wrong. You know, Carville and I wrote a, a book very tough on our party in 2005 after the Democrats lost that presidential election. And, and a whole lot of Democrats were, I think, quite wisely, trying to pull it apart and figure out what went wrong. This thing with the Republicans, though, you know, Democrats, we go off in, in a yurt somewhere and, like, smoke pot and meditate <laughs> and try to decide what we believe in, right? Republicans, man, they have a knife fight. It's going to be vicious. It's going to be like, like steel cage death match. You know, it's going to be great. And what's happening is, I, I'm picking this up, too, as David is, the, the old Reagan guys are blaming Bush. The McCain guys are blaming Bush. The Bush guys are, of course, blaming McCain and his campaign. I think they're all right. This has been a, a really terrible campaign uh, run in a really difficult time. I mean, McCain was dealt a terrible hand by President Bush, and he's played it as badly as he could. Uh, Alex, is it possible that, I mean, some Republicans may not want to hear McCain slamming Bush, but is it possible that could be a strategy that, you know, if David Gergen says the next three or four days are crucial, that might work for him in this late in the game, trying to woo some undecideds? It, uh, it's one of the few things he has left that he can do. But, you know, there are a couple of ways to separate yourself from something that's unpopular. And most of the time, candidates choose the weakest way, and that is to attack it. Uh, and the problem with attacking, say, the, your own brand, the Republican brand, or, or your own president, is you get tangled up with it. You have to actually move closer to it to attack it. The other way to separate yourself from something that's unpopular is to turn in a different direction, to lead, to transform yourself. And the McCain campaign didn't seem to do that early in the campaign, and now the only choice it has left is to attack uh, really its own brand, its own party, and that's, that's a tough thing to have to do.